Hey, what's going on? I'm Anthony Napolitan. We're here at Woodward Camp in Pennsylvania. You guys voted on Vital BMX for the front flip how-to, and I'm here to show it to you. So check it out. Being that you guys voted for front flips on Vital BMX, I am here to teach them to you. But you need to know that front flips are a very advanced trick and very, very dangerous. So in order for you to learn this trick, I'm going to advise that you use a foam pit or some kind of uh, soft landing ramp to try these on for the first time. For a speed check, you're going to want to go the same speed as you would do a 360 or an X up or a turn down. You don't have to go any faster or any slower to do a front flip. You're going to watch your front wheel go up over the top of the transition. And as you start to see that, you're going to want to throw the front half of your body, probably from your waist and up, over the handlebars. And after you do that, you're going to pull your back brakes. Now by pulling your back brakes, it locks up your cranks. You can do this without brakes, but it's a lot easier to learn them with brakes. So by pulling the brakes, it locks your cranks into place. Now the main part for getting the rotation going on a front flip is with your legs. So basically by locking your brakes up, it's gonna lock your cranks up. So when you pull your legs into your butt, the cranks stay stable and sturdy, and you can have all that leverage to pull into your waist area. Now you're probably asking, what do you mean when you pull your brakes, it locks your cranks up? Well, this is with no brakes. It just goes. Now, when you lock your brakes and then pull your legs into your butt, it's pretty sturdy. It's not moving, it's not going anywhere. So now you're probably asking, why do you have to kick yourself in the butt? <laughs> well, when you go over the handlebars, you're gonna go off the lip, throw your top half of the body over the bars, lock the brakes. After you lock the brakes, that's when you kick yourself in the butt. So you can almost see it when I do this, but when you kick your butt, it pulls your bike forward like that. And when, by the time you get your bike up here, you're sitting on your bike like you normally would, just like this, like riding normal. Now, when you pull your legs into you, that's what gives you the rotation. And once you start trying it into a foam pit and you start to feel that, you'll be able to um, judge bigger and smaller jumps by doing it. So if you're doing a smaller jump, the harder you kick yourself in the butt, the faster you go. If you're doing a big jump, the less harder you kick yourself in the butt, the slower your rotation's gonna go. Now, when it comes to spotting your landing, it's gonna come up pretty fast because a front flip is a pretty fast rotation as it is. Um, it's kind of hard to explain how to spot your landing, but the first time you come around on a front flip, it's almost like you know what to do. So, by the time you're coming around your front flip, you're going to be about here, upside down. Usually what I do is I look like kind of through my armpit as I'm, as I'm on my back like this. I'm looking down and I can already see my landing. Now, if you feel like you're coming in too fast of a rotation, it's really easy to slow front flip rotations down. Simply, all you have to do is open your arms and legs up and you'll slow down. If you feel like you're not gonna make the rotation, then you pull in as far as you can, and that speeds it up. Once again, front flips are a very dangerous trick, so please learn them into a foam pit. Even though you're in the foam pit, you still need your safety gear. So wear your helmet, elbow pads, knee pads, etc. And have fun trying front flips. Thanks for watching. 